What is up YouTube? It's Giz1 here and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a graffiti interview I saw on Burst's channel with Desio and start a conversation with you guys in the comments below about why specifically you do graffiti and what the right attitudes to have are in graffiti. I'll link you to the full interview in the corner where the cards are if you want to check out the interview with Desio. But basically Desio's attitudes in graffiti really resonated with me and I wanted to share parts of his attitudes and his experiences that I thought were particularly useful and good to have as a graffiti artist. Now getting right into it right away, I just want to say that the main overall thing about Desio's interview that got me was that it really did seem like he's doing graffiti for himself. And I think that's really, really important and misunderstood by a lot of graffiti writers and people in general, especially about graffiti. And what I mean by that is this. Number one, there's no such thing as getting rich from doing graffiti. Basically, it's something that costs you a lot of resources. It costs you a lot of time, it costs you a lot of sleep, and it costs you a lot of safety in some particular situations as well. So there's no real financial gain to being a graffiti writer. And I think that's sort of where initially a lot of non-artists don't really understand it because they think, why would you be doing something if you can't make any money from it? And the second thing I want to mention here is that obviously I think most graffiti writers are sort of smart enough to know as well that you're not going to get famous being a graffiti writer, doing graffiti, even as a normal artist, you're not really going to be famous in any capacity. That doesn't really happen. And that's another thing I think a lot of, uh, a lot of people who aren't graffiti writers or graffiti artists, they sort of think that graffiti writers do graffiti to become famous which is sort of laughable when you are a graffiti artist and you sort of understand that that doesn't happen but basically I think the main two things people don't understand who don't do the art the main two things they don't understand number one no one's doing it for the money obviously they don't understand why you would do it if it's not for the money and you can't make money off of it and number two they don't understand why you're doing it in the first place if you can't get famous from it and really the answer to that is where i come back to desio's point of view because it really seemed like desio understood that you really do have to be doing graffiti for yourself it's not something that you can do for other people to impress other people you're not going to gain anything outside of anything personal from it so really it's all about just understanding what what you personally can gain from it and that's where normal people don't understand it what i'm trying to say is i would think tell me if this is true in the comments but most graffiti artists don't do it for the fame and certainly all of us are smart enough not to do it for any financial possibilities because there really are none it's not a very lucrative position to be taking in your life but that being said there's a lot of potential for personal growth and satisfaction from doing this kind of art the best way i can describe that is every piece you do you can see an improvement in it maybe other people who don't know a damn thing about art aren't going to see any improvement in it. they don't know the difference between a piece you did five years ago and a piece you did yesterday but you do and you can see the improvement and you can see the personal growth yourself and that's very 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 important that's ultimately why in my opinion you should be doing graffiti if you can see the personal growth that you're putting down you're therefore able to see the work you've put in over the years you're therefore able to see that you do have the ability to learn you're able to see that you're able to improve at things and these are all very very powerful things to know about yourself and of course they can't just be applied to graffiti they can be applied to anything in your life and the three things I just mentioned are very important to be able to do in a lot of aspects of your life it'll really boost your confidence and sort of teach you how to grow as an individual now I know I'm stretching it a little bit but it, honestly this really is the truth it's not something that you're going to get anything out of besides personal satisfaction sure with in a small niche of people you will be maybe known if you're lucky and you do a damn good job of it but really the thing for me is the personal satisfaction that you get out of there's the personal wow as I was saying, the personal satisfaction you get out of it is just second to none, and it's just, it, it's unparalleled by, by 
anything else I've experienced in my life, to be perfectly honest. And of course, when you hear writers speak about their experiences, of course, on the illegal side of things as well, which I do think this is an important thing to talk about. Basically, the main thing you hear is that writers feel good when they've accomplished something, when they've done a, a big spot or when they've been able to, you know, execute a really clean piece or just get a certain number of tags up or a certain number of trains benched, that sort of thing. And again, it comes from that personal growth and your realization that you're achieving something that takes a lot of consistent hard work, hard time put in, hours of effort. It's not something that you just can wake up one day and decide I'm going to be a dope graffiti writer and do all kinds of cool shit. No, it, like it's this is where the graffiti artists on the channel understand it takes lots and lots of time and effort that's why you know burst is is one of the best that's why desio is one of the best because they've been doing this for 30 years 30 years plus even they put in that consistent hard work which has allowed them to to achieve what they have and in desio's case if you watch the interview he's actually sort of responsible for reviving and growing a scene in China and in parts of France, as he mentioned, and growing the graffiti scenes there. And that's that's really incredible. That's not something you can do overnight. And that's not something you can do without other people noticing you and saying, wow, that person has put in the time and the effort and it pays off. And they're not saying it in those exact words. They're probably saying it through words like, wow, that's a really awesome piece or something like that. But by having them say that, you know that them appreciating that piece shows that you've progressed to a level where your pieces can be appreciated. So I know I'm sort of going off on a tangent here a little bit, and I do want to just try and like summarize to say, I think the right attitude to have in graffiti is, I'm doing this for myself, I'm doing this to challenge myself, I'm doing this for nobody else, and I am doing this to make sure that I understand what it is to put in a plethora of types of hard work and to sacrifice things to grow in graffiti because honestly those are really really important things to be able to do like in your life in general and this is where it's really sort of too bad and this is where i sort of look down upon people who aren't artists or writers because they haven't committed themselves to doing something that there's no financial gain for they haven't committed to putting in thousands of hours to get pretty much nothing out of it except for what you can get out of it and i know this is very loosely related to the Desio interview but it was really his attitude specifically near the middle of the interview where he's talking about how the scene in China isn't really that big and it's mostly just him painting he hasn't really been like active with his crews in a long time but you can tell he's painting for himself and he gets a lot of motivation from that just by trying different things and continuing on doing that and that's exactly what I'm trying to communicate here I hope I'm doing an okay job of it somehow but yeah I would really like to hear your guys' opinion on why specifically you guys are doing graffiti and what you hope to get out of it and what some of the pluses you've experienced from it are that you don't think normal people can understand that aren't involved in art and aren't involved in graffiti because it comes up in my everyday life pretty much when I'm ostracized for saying I do this kind of art form just because people don't understand it, right? So I'm sure there's all things that we have experienced that we're very happy about in graffiti and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that below. Until my next one, peace.